Hello everyone, welcome to match day minus one press conference of Belgium. Uh, later on we have coach Roberto Martinez. We now have Jan Vertongen. Please raise your hand virtually so that uh, I can see who will be asking the questions first. No one yet. That is hardly possible. List of all participants. No one for the moment. Please raise your hand. I don't see no one. Here, yeah, I have the mouse. It's better. Yeah. Christophe Franken from uh, La Dernière Heure. Christophe, tu peux poser la première question. Allez-y. Het is Yves Teldeman. Oké, ook goed. Jan. Uh, Jan, vandaag zei je op de app van uh, de voetbalbond uh, dat je Jan, yeah, yeah, today you said in the application of the Federation that your little girls will support uh, Portugal in school. Um, do they even learn to sing the Portuguese hymn? No, not at all. But uh, the Portuguese are fanatics about football and in school they follow football. Um, they also speak Portuguese, so it's normal that they choose a Portugal at school. Um, I have to be happy that the match is uh, playing on a Sunday. So tomorrow at home they can wear whatever they want and tomorrow they will wear the Belgium jersey at home. A match against uh, Portugal, that's a particular match. Uh, first one is against Portugal, the 100th against, against Portugal too. Uh, what do you remember about those matches? You've never won. Well, I remember not so much about this 100th match, match. Um, the first one, yes, it was a team against the Portuguese team full of stars, back then it wasn't Ronaldo, but it was another generation, I was an offensive midfielder back then. It was a very special, magnificent moment for me, but we didn't win this match, uh, just as you said. So we hope that we win tomorrow. Press from Portugal. David. Hello, Jan. Um, I will ask you a question in English, if possible. Um, you wrapped this competition um, after a change in your career. You, you changed your club. Um, changing to, to Portugal. How was your first season in Portugal? And um, if your idea is to stay in Portugal next season playing for Benfica? Thank you. Yeah, obviously I went to Benfica with big uh, expectations. Um, I wanted to play for um, for a big club with ambition uh, that plays good football and uh, and it is it is a great club. Uh, obviously, I haven't played in uh, in a full uh, Dalou stadium yet, and uh, that's something I'm very looking forward to. Our achievements as a team we didn't really make last year um, because uh, Benfica is a team that uh, wants to win the trophies and uh, um, yeah, hopefully we uh, we can do better uh, next year. I'm looking forward to uh, yeah to go back to Benfica to win trophies and uh, in, f in, uh, in front of a, of a full uh, Dalou Stadium. Okay, I have here Yves Teldeman, but it might be that it is uh, Christoph Franken. You already played four times against Ronaldo and every time he scored. I didn't really understand your question, the sound was not very good. Ronaldo had scored against us or so. 
Luis had u Hij zei het, Ronaldo. Herhaal eens even helemaal Ronaldo naar scoorde luid. Nou, de sound is completely please. gone. Can you please repeat your question? No, he can't. We go to Javier Cáceres, Süddeutsche Zeitung. Hello. Hello. Uh, can could you give us a sense of uh, of what Ronaldo means uh, to Portugal from your observation now uh, of one year being there in Lisbon? Uh, what what are the, the the things that you noted about the importance of Ronaldo to the Portuguese people? Um. Yeah, it's uh, if you see uh, if you see a Portugal shirt on the street, it's uh, 99 percent. It's uh, it's a Ronaldo shirt. So he's a uh, he's the biggest player in the history of uh, of Portugal, and um, yeah, we have to uh, we have to respect that, and uh, and uh, I respect him a lot. But uh, tomorrow it's um, it's not Belgium against uh, Ronaldo; it's Belgium against Portugal, and um, they have a lot of uh, a lot of good players, a lot of. Uh, of uh, quality players and um, we do as well so uh, we will be ready okay thank you Niels Poissonnier last news Niels black screen Niels not there okay then we go to Sid Lowe from the Guardian Sid Lowe from the Guardian is next in line I could ask you to try and define Romelu Lukaku for us. I sometimes get the feeling that people focus too much on his physical attributes, on his strength, on, on his power. And, and maybe we overlook the, the intelligence of his game and, and, and the way that he plays to link others into the match. So I wondered if you, from a, from a teammate's point of view, could, could kind of define him for us. Uh, the only way I can define him for you is as one of the best strikers in the world. Um, I know him since he's uh, 16 years old, and um, he had to deal with a lot of criticism uh, on his game. But um, the way he developed from being a, a strong, uh, quick kid into one of the best strikers in the world is one of the best things I've seen um, in, in, in my career. The, the way his, his work ethic is is and is nearly unmatched and uh, everything, uh, every trophy, uh, every individual trophy he gets now or every goal he scores is down to that work ethic and uh, he's an example for uh, for every kid or every football player out there. Okay, thank you. We try uh, Yves Telleman again to have his question re-asked with full speakers on. Yeah, I can hear Louis Jan, I hope that's not bad. Okay, I try again. You've already played four times against uh, Ronaldo, also once with uh, Ajax. Uh, do you still think about those matches? No, not at all. No, not at all. He's a striker who scores at almost all matches. He proved that uh, many times. Okay, thank you well. So we need to prevent uh, that he marks tomorrow, that he scores a goal tomorrow. Jan, um, Ronaldo is 36. Hij zegt dat hij kan doorgaan tot zijn 40ste. Um, hoe, hoe, hoe hard bewonder je dat en kun jij dat ook? Ja, het is. Uh... Het is een, een, een fenomeen. En, uh, Do you een, admire uh, Ronaldo's style? Ja, een ongelooflijke. Uh... Uh, work ethic en um, ja, alles wat hij heeft bereikt, yes, hij is uh, gewoon uh, he's a meer phenomenon, hij is een model, hij werkt heel hard, hij is all the time, training all, all the time, the time, all the time. Uh, so what he's and done and so ook, far, uh, he deserves it um, and uh, maybe he can play well, until he's 40 and, uh, years old, he shows it in every match. Okay. On this level, yes, it's really admiring. You can only admire that. People talk all the time about Ronaldo, but do you maybe prefer Messi to Ronaldo? 
niet echt. Uh, ik mag mij ook eigenlijk niet in die discussie, omdat ik het no, dus ben, uh, no, res- not really. is respectvol om te zeggen dat je de ene beter vindt dan de ander. Als je, als oh, je I won't start that als discussion als now. Je kunt alleen maar... Uh, yes. It would be disrespectful and, um, to say I prefer uh, this one or the other one. Ja, They are je, both great football stars and I admire them both. Okay. Thanks all. Thanks, Jan. No more hands raised. We Especially as they are still playing. Thank you for your attention. We are now-